Yeah. As you can see, the beautiful vistas, wildlife, getting away from the pavement in the city and just enjoying the outdoors. We have skiing, we have backpacking, and anything from horseback riding trails to mountain bike riding, and there's also rock climbing, and we're going rafting tomorrow, so it'll be pretty fun. People come here to have a great adventure and just to really be in the great outdoors and to see this magnificent place for themselves. Invasive species are a critical threat to America's outdoor heritage. The places we love to go are under a serious threat. Invasive species can take over a habitat and just destroy it. They move by wind, water, animals move them, humans. One of those seeds can get lodged in a boot and can get dislodged maybe when you step in a puddle further down in the interior and start a whole new infestation in a new part of the state or the country where that species wasn't before. And it's not just plants that we're concerned about. There are all different kinds of organisms that outcompete the native biodiversity. And that's a problem because, I mean, look at this place. This is incredible. We don't want to lose this resource. Outdoor recreationists can do a lot to prevent the spread of invasive species in the areas that they love. It's this combination of recreation and stewardship. So get yourself educated. These places are beautiful and this is where we all recreate and if we don't take care of them, they're not going to be here. Certainly as you walk, you might have picked up a seed or another thing that could start an invasive plant in a new place and so Definitely clean off boots, clothing, and gear before you move to new areas. We provide just a typical guest do that. We feed certified weed-free hay. If we see nauseous weeds, we report it, of course. If it's a small patch, we destroy it. When folks are ever using this beautiful area and traveling on the trails, the main thing is for them to stay on the trails, get off where they're disturbing the ground, and making new sites for weeds to get a foothold. And it's also important to clean your ATV. We do have invasive aquatic species. We can just get people to clean and drain and dry their boats between uses, and that can be a, a real advantage because uh, really those little critters can hide just about in anything that's wet. Climbers are a community that continually travels. Plant material could be taken from here and inadvertently dispersed. When they fold up their rope bags, let's look for something that's not native and try to keep them from carrying it out. As a hiker, you can enjoy volunteering, which is a huge component of the Appalachian Trail. We encourage volunteers to collect data on invasive plants you collect the species, the latitude and longitude, and enter that data onto EDMAP's database so that we can protect our native species. When you come to a nice campsite, you want to keep things as natural as possible and not spread any kind of invasive species to other campsites. Firewood for us is a big issue right now. We're working very hard to try to educate all users that come to the park with firewood that might be carrying unintended and invasive and exotic insects within that wood. And we're encouraging them to use the wood that we provide. One of the first things you could do is to become familiar with those plants that don't belong. You probably aren't gonna learn all of these plants, but you can learn the five that are growing in front of your camp. The cave environment is quite delicate. White nose syndrome is a disease that has just started showing up in large colonies of bats. To reduce the chance of the caving community carrying the fungus associated with white nose syndrome from an infected area to a non-infected area, we recommend that cavers decontaminate their gear. Cavers, like all other recreationists, are doing their best to be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. People like to bike on these trails, and one thing that's really important for these folks to do is to take their bikes, make sure and inspect them because they may carry invasive plant materials. I love to play here and ski here, and I clean off all my gear before I put it in my truck. I try to be really careful that if I do collect stuff to clean it off. Good morning. We're here to remove buffalo grass. It's highly invasive, so our volunteer group started coming in to remove this stuff. We know we're making a dent in this. Just enjoying the great outdoors. 
invasive species are spreading at thousands of acres per year across the United States. So it's education, prevention, early detection, rapid response. For an outdoor recreator today, they have to be aware that their normal activities that they love to do could spread an invasive species. So prevent the spread and then be active to report the impact of invasive species. Wash that vehicle. If you see weeds, pull them off. Clean your boat, clean your trailer. There's also websites to help you learn how to minimize your impacts and hopefully maintain your access for future opportunities. To lose places like this would be a disgrace. I think we'd run out of books to write because we run out of time to pause, and that's what we need to do.